Hi everyone, this is Mary Lou. Welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I hope you're having a great week. Today I want to talk about the difference between clear stamps, cling stamps, and wood stamps and why you would want to change your wood stamps to cling stamps and the advantages of that and how to do that. And so uh, let's just jump right into talking about what is the difference between those three. Now, uh, back in the day, if you've been stamping for very long, like I have, you will remember the days when everything was wood stamps like this. And I think the new stamps, the clear and clean stamps are just so much better, but everything was on a wood block. And so when you were stamping, uh, if you were making a card or a scrapbook page, you had to uh, very precisely line everything up, but you couldn't see through it. And so it was very hard sometimes to get things lined up quite right. And so uh, the wood stamps, there was a lot of trial, a lot of error, a lot of failure, a lot of redo. And so we used uh, techniques so that if you stamped poorly, <laughs> it didn't ruin your whole card. And I know a lot of my cards ended up very different from what I had originally planned because there was a goof with lining up the stamp and it wasn't straight or it wasn't sitting on the card or the page quite like I liked it. And so I ended up having to add an embellishment or change things around so that it ended up the way I liked it. And uh, all of our stamps came in sets like this with these fun little cases and everything. So when I uh, found out about the newer stamps, I was very excited. So that's wood stamps. And so you can, and I don't know if you remember, but a lot of us had to, when we ordered a stamp uh, from a company, it would come with just a sheet of this orange stuff with a gray backing and you actually had to cut the stamp out yourself. In fact, if you look closely at this one, I don't know if you can see that it's a pretty jagged edge because I had to cut that out myself. You had to mount it to the block, so you had to be really careful about getting it centered in the block. And then you put uh, the sticker that went with it on the other side, and this is what that sticker looked like. And so uh, there was a lot of work to get the stamp ready and then uh, it was just really hard to get things centered. And we all had a hundred different tricks for doing that, but uh, they just will, were not that easy. So then uh, cling stance stamps came out, which were not mounted onto a block. So then what you could do is actually put these on an acrylic block, and then you could see through the block, and it was much easier to line everything up. And uh, so, that improved the whole system that much more. And so when you hear cling stamps, that's what we're talking about. It's a stamp that can be uh, taken off of uh, its sheet like this and just temporarily stuck onto an acrylic block. And then you stamp while being able to see through that block. But what has happened now is we've gone to, and this has been around for many years, but we've gone around to these um, basically polymer stamps. These are clear stamps and they also cling. So uh, just know that clean stamps cling and so do clear stamps. It's just that the clear ones are an um, even better development in stamping. And so th this set, this is from Lawn Fawn. Life is Good, it actually is one of my favorite sets. And I actually have a video, another video coming out where I use this set and we're doing spinner cards. So uh, be sure to subscribe and uh, watch that video for how to make a really fun, bright, cheerful summer spinner card with this Lawn Fawn set. And so what I love about these is they are clear. You can see through them. Uh, you can easily see what you're stamping and where you're stamping. And so these can be mounted to an acrylic block, just like these can. And I like that, and that's good. But what I really love is to use a stamping tool. So uh, I talked a few videos ago about my Misty. Um, we have really loved, my daughter and I have been loving using the Misty. And so your clean stamps and your clear stamps can both be used with the Misty. And so when you're doing a clean stamp, Let's see, I have my card here and I want to position my uh, my little life 
preserver on there. I can go ahead and get it positioned on my card. And with a clean stamp, it's still a little tricky because you can't see through it, but that backing makes it so it'll pick it up. I can go ahead and apply my ink here and stamp and even restamp if I need to, and it'll stay right there until I actually move it. So that's the clean stamp. Now, even better then is the, the clear acrylic stamp. These are made with a plastic polymer. So I could get that centered just right the way I want it on my card. And because I can see through it, I can see exactly where it should be. If I'm stamping over something else, I can see that in the background and I can position it better. And then of course, just like the other one, it picks it up and I can stamp and restamp and I apply my ink over here. So I really love these, um, these clear acrylic stamps. They are my favorites and I have not bought wood stamps in, uh, I don't know, over a decade because uh, these other ones are so much better. So now, why would I want to take my wood, these stamps off of the wood? Well, for the very reason I talked about is you cannot see clearly where you're stamping. So I decided I wanted to, to change my wood stamps to cling stamps. And so I save packaging uh, such as this, and this is a good heavy acetate. And I save the packaging so that I can then cut it down and create a little acetate carrier for my, my stamps. One thing I also love about that is this takes up a lot less space than this. So let's talk about how to do that. I'm going to walk you through this. I have already transferred most of this set uh, onto my uh, carrier acetate. And by the way, all of these products that I'm using, if the stamp sets are available to buy, I will go ahead and lift, list those in the description below the video. And uh, But some of these are so old, they won't be there. But things like acetate, if you'd prefer not to save your packaging and go through the hassle of cutting it down, um, I'll put a link there for some really good heavy duty acetate that I really like. And uh, so these, as I take apart these old sets and convert them from wood stamps to cling, I save this packaging. And let me just show you some pointers for that. The lid and the bottom, the base, come apart really easily and you get a nice flat piece of acetate. It's easily available and I can easily uh, store it without it taking up a lot of space. So let me show you how to take a wooden stamp and change it to a clean stamp uh, and keep it so that you can have the, the stamp image and the stamp all together. So the first thing we're going to do is, I, I'm going to finish this one, I've got the bubbles here, and it's good to have a heat gun. And so what you're going to do is just use that gun and heat up that uh, picture a little bit. Now, when we first made these, when we would get stamps, we actually, had a sticker sheet and you had to uh, put the sticker on the wood and then the stamp on the wood and it was a lot of work and we had special scissors and all kinds of things. But once you heat that up, that little clear sticker will easily come off. When I'm doing this process to transform our sets, I always put all of the stickers on my acetate first, then I start working on the stamps. Uh, that way I can make sure I have all my stickers on the correct side of the paper and my stamps on the other. If you need to use a little tool like this Cricut spatula, that can help pull it up. But if you go easily and carefully, you should be able to get that uh, stamp off of the wood wood with very little trouble. And so let's show this one. You can, of course, go ahead and heat this up first with your uh, heat gun. You can put it in the microwave. You could put it in a hot windowsill. But uh, once it's warm, you can start prying it up. Now, when you have a stamp like this one that has a narrow section and wider sections, you've got to be even more careful because these things can rip.
and you could actually tear your stamp apart. So just go very carefully, particularly in those narrow sections, and just work at it little by little until you've got the whole stamp up. And then uh, you can go ahead and place it uh, right above the sticker on your stamp sheet. Now let me show you what happens if you take off that gray backing. The gray backing needs to stay with your stamp. And so if you put it in a stamp tool, it will not pick it up. Uh, it won't hold it. It's just basically a piece of rubber that kind of uh, becomes useless. So when you are transferring your wooden stamps onto um, acetate to become cling stamps, be sure to keep that gray part, that gray backing. That's really an important part of the stamp. That gray backing also helps the impression come through well. And this I will then put into my envelopes to include as part of my stamp filing system. I'll show that in a future video, so be sure to subscribe. And remember that these old wooden stamps, they're wonderful, but they often did not come with a matching die so that they could be cut out. So we had to basically fussy cut out all of our stamps. And that's one of the great advantages of these newer stamp sets is they often come with dies. Let me give you one more pointer in this process of uh, transferring your wooden stamps. When you are peeling up this sticker, you can heat it before, but once you've started peeling it up, don't add heat to it because it will actually shrink that sticker. And so if you're going to add heat, do it before you remove any part of it from the block and then remove it through the rest of the way. And then you can go ahead and put it on your acetate and complete the transfer of uh, your wooden block set to a uh, new cling set. And so I hope that is helpful to you. I hope that uh, you'll take the opportunity to maybe take some of those old wooden stamps that aren't as useful as maybe they could be and uh, convert them so that they act more like a cling stamp. Have fun with your stamps and we'll see you next time.